Greetings and welcome to the second of my videos celebrating Her Majesty the Queen's Platinum Jubilee by taking a detailed look at her ancestry. Having traced her line back to William I in 1066 in the first video, we'll now look at her more recent ancestry, going back to each one of her great-great-grandparents. In doing this, I hope to give a fair and informed answer to the question, just how German is the Queen? But first, don't forget to subscribe to the like button, smash the subscribe button, and generally do all the YouTube-y things that will make the algorithm love this channel and make it grow. It is often stated as a matter of fact that the Queen is German. Usually this is said dismissively by obnoxious, ignorant people who want Britain to ditch the monarchy and become some sort of pound shop republic. The Queen of England, she's German. Yes, people like that. Interestingly, those who usually fly into a rage at the merest mention of the ethnic origins of anyone else in the UK are strangely quiet when the Queen's Britishness is questioned. Funny that. First, what about some context? After all, context is king. Although far fewer than in past centuries, there are still six kingdoms in Europe in addition to the United Kingdom. Going north to south, there's Norway, Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands, Belgium and Spain. People often assume that Europe's various royal families are somehow composed of people solely coming from those countries. This has not generally been the case. Both for reasons of politics and social status, royal families have tended to marry their offspring to princes and princesses from the royal families of other countries. Let's look at two examples. One from history, Louis XIV of France, and one from today, Carl Gustav of Sweden. Louis XIV was the French king from 1643 to 1715, making him the current holder of the record for being the world's longest reigning monarch, easily one of, if not the most famous, of French kings. His reign was an age of cultural and military dominance for France. He was referred to as La Roi Soleil, the Sun King, and Louis is as much an icon of French history as Henry VIII is in England. But how French was he? Just a note, the father's side is on the left, the mother's on the right. To keep things simple, I'll be using the flags of the countries as they are today, which is why we have the red, white and blue tricolour of the French Republic a flag unknown to Louis, rather than the three gold fleur-de-lis en bleu of the French monarchy. Louis was born in France, as were his father, grandfather and two of his great-grandparents, but his mother was a Habsburg princess of Austrian and Spanish origins, and his paternal grandmother was a Medici from Italy, with her mother being another Habsburg princess, born in Prague. Carl Gustav has been the King of Sweden since 1973 and is also the honorary head of World Scouting, as well as being the world's leading Jim Broadbent impersonator. He is also the Queen's third cousin, as they are both great-great-grandchildren of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, as are 140 other people. And this gives us a clue as to Carl Gustav's swedish -osity. He was born and raised in Sweden, as were his father, grandfather and great-grandfather, but his mother was born in Germany, as was her mother. He has two British-born grandparents and two great-grandparents, two great-grandparents born in Denmark and three in Germany. Now, I'm not suggesting that Louis wasn't French and that Carl Gustav isn't Swedish. They were both born and raised in the countries of which they were or are king, Louis was as French as a garlic eclair, and dear Carl Gustav is as Swedish as a meatball being eaten by a porn star driving a Volvo full of flat pack furniture. The point I'm making is that European royalty tend to have highly international family trees. So, what about the allegedly German Queen Elizabeth?
There you go. Her mother and father were both born in Britain, as were all four of her grandparents and five of her great-grandparents. One of her great-grandmothers was born in Denmark, another in Germany, and one great-grandfather was born in what is now Croatia. Oh, Badger, I hear you cry. You sneaky old thing, you're skewing the evidence to prove your point. Well, of course I am. As are the Republicans who want you to think of the Queen as a foreigner. Shall we go a little deeper and look at the Queen's says Cartier? What are you on about, Badger? What's all this about Cartiers? Well, the says Cartier, or 16 quarters, is the French term describing the traditional pedigree of European nobility, showing someone's ancestors back to all 16 of their great-great-grandparents. First, let's look at the Queen's parents and grandparents. The Queen's parents were King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, better known as Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother. Both were born in Britain. George VI's parents were King George V and Queen Mary, also known as Mary of Tack. The Queen Mother's parents were Claude Bowes Lyon and Cecilia Cavendish Bentinck. Now we'll look at the ancestors of each of the Queen's grandparents, and being properly brought up, we'll go ladies first. The Queen's maternal grandmother was Cecilia Nidna Cavendish Bentinck, Countess of Strathmore and Kinghorn. She was the daughter of the Reverend Charles Cavendish Bentinck and Caroline Louisa Burnaby. The Reverend Charles was the son of Lord Charles Cavendish Bentinck and Anne Wellesley. Caroline was the daughter of Edwin Burnaby and Anne Salisbury. As you can see, all of them were born in Britain. As we're being a bit more detailed now, it's worth pointing out that before the 1st of July 1801, the Union flag, or Union Jack, looked like this. Why is this? Guess what? There'll be a video about that, so subscribe in order to find out when it's uploaded. The Queen's maternal grandfather was Claude Bose Lyon, the 14th Earl of Strathmore and Kinghorn. His mother and father were Francis Dora Smith, and the 13th Earl, also Claude Bose Lyon. It often surprises people that the Queen has a great-grandmother who was a commoner called Smith. To be fair, she was gentry from a well-off and well-to-do family, but still untitled. She was the daughter of Oswald Smith and Henrietta Hodgson. The 13th Earl was the son of Thomas Lyon Bowes, Lord Glam's, and Charlotte Grimstead. Now for the Queen's father's line, and this is where things start to get more continental and more complicated. At this point it might be a good idea to pause and look at how different the map of Europe was in the 19th century. There was no single nation-state called Germany until the German Empire was established in 1871. There were many German states, Prussia, Hanover, Bavaria, Hesse, Saxony, Württemberg and others, each with their own ruling houses. They were all culturally German, but separate states. South and east of what is now Germany, the situation was reversed. The modern nation-states of Austria, Hungary, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia-Herzegovina, as well as parts of Italy, Serbia, Romania, Ukraine and Poland, were all part of the Austrian Empire, known as Austria-Hungary, or the dual monarchy after 1867. The Queen's paternal grandmother was Queen Mary, or Mary of Teck. Born and raised in Britain, she was the daughter of Francis, or Franz, Duke of Teck. Now, Teck is a German title, but Franz was born in what is today Croatia, and which was then part of the Austrian Empire. His wife was Mary Adelaide of Cambridge, who was born in the German territory of Hanover. Francis's father was Alexander, Duke of Württemberg, again a German nobleman born outside of the German lands, this time in St. Petersburg, Russia. His wife was Claudine Redi von Kishreda, who was born in what is now Romania, again Austrian Empire at the time but she herself 
was of an ancient Hungarian noble family. German-born Mary Adelaide was the daughter of Adolphus, Duke of Cambridge, born in Britain, but of German stock, and Augusta Hesse-Cassel, again in Germany. So, still with me? Basically, Mary of Teck's ancestry was Germanic, with a dash of Hungarian. Finally, we come to King George V, the Queen's paternal grandfather. George was born in Britain, and his father was King Edward VII, his mother, the Danish-born Alexandra. British-born Edward was the son of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert of Saxe-Coburg and Gotha. Victoria was born in Britain, but of German ancestry, and Albert was born in Saxe-Coburg, Germany. Alexandra's parents were Christian IX, King of Denmark, and Louise of Hesse-Cassel. Even more confusingly, Christian was born in what was Denmark at the time, but which is now part of Germany. Louise was German born and bred. Therefore, George V's ancestry was basically German, with a touch of Dane. So, Her Majesty the Queen was born in Britain. Her parents were born in Britain. All of her grandparents were born here and the majority of her great and great great grandparents were born here. It is certainly true to say that her father's ancestry is mostly from Germany. But remember, we have to go back to her great grandparents to find someone born outside of Britain. It is also worth noting that towards the end of the Second World War, the teenage Princess Elizabeth served in the Auxiliary Territorial Service and her father led Britain through the war. He, as a teenager, had served as a midshipman in the Royal Navy and saw action during the First World War at the Battle of Jutland in 1916, while his father, George V, was leading Britain. I assume I don't need to remind viewers which country Britain was fighting during the two world wars. <laughs> George VI was well aware of his German ancestry and is even supposed to have joked when the German Luftwaffe bombed Buckingham Palace in 1940 that the pilot might well have been a cousin of his. A quote that says much more about the family and its Britishness, though, is from his wife, Queen Elizabeth. When it was suggested after the bombing that it might be safer for their daughters, the princesses Elizabeth and Margaret, to be evacuated to Canada for the duration of the war. She replied, The children will not leave unless I do. I shall not leave unless their father does. And the king will not leave the country in any circumstances, whatever. The country the queen's father would not leave was Britain. Most of his blood might have been German, but his heart was British. He was British. His wife was British. His daughter is British. Thank you for watching this, the second of the videos on the ancestry of Her Majesty the Queen, celebrating her 70 years on the throne. If you've enjoyed it, please do like, subscribe, share, and do all the usual YouTube-y things that help a channel to grow. I'll be posting more videos soon. Until then, bye for now.